You want to get Forge for Minecraft in 2025. We're going to show you how to do that, allowing you to play Forge mods. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Forge. It'll cover everything you need. But I want to mention the video guide at the top here, because right now, Minecraft 1.21.4 is the most recent version. But in the future, Minecraft 1.22 or even 1.23 or... 24 will come out. New versions of Minecraft are releasing all the time, and Forge could change how it's installed. If that were to happen, this video here is always going to be up to date to the most recent version of Minecraft, as is this article. We go through, we edit, and update the article for any changes that occur when downloading and installing Forge, meaning that no matter what, you will be set up and good to go, even if this video, for whatever reason, doesn't work. This video here will, this article here will. That's why no matter what, we take you through this, so this will always work. If you run into any issues along the way, there's troubleshooting and FAQs in this article as well. But let's go ahead and get Forge. First things first, go to the second link down below. Again, that's this website here. And then once you're here, go ahead and click on the download button to go to Forge's official download page. Then select the version of Forge you want on the left-hand side. One of the reasons I don't think Forge is going to change how it's installed in the future is because it's not changed really, I don't think, since 1.8. So probably 10 years at this point. It's been a long time. So go ahead and select the version you want. We're going to go with the most recent. Then come under download latest and click on installer. Doesn't take you have to add focus. We're stopped. Don't click anything on this page. Just put your hand. Stop. Don't click anything. Put your hands in the air. Wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, a red skip add button will appear up in the top right. This skip button. Click that red skip button and it will prompt you to download. Do not download this unless it has Forge in the title and it's a .jar file, which ours is Forge. It's .jar. We're good to go. Do not click anything on this page other than the red skip button. And if it prompts you to confirm to save the file, it might not. But if it does, make sure Forge is in the title, which it is here. Go ahead and click save and the download will begin. And while that's downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown at xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add Forge mods to the server and start playing those mods with your friends. Plus, let's say you want to play a mod pack and not individual mods you've curated yourself, but like a mod pack with hundreds of mods. Well, we have one-click installation of mod packs, making that super quick and easy to get running on your server. On top of that, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So should you have issues like you add a mod to your server, you start the server, it doesn't work, it's breaking, you're wondering what's going on, live chat support there is there to help you out and get the server back up and running. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and start your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown .xyz slash GH. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to find the Forge file we downloaded. That's going to be in my downloads folder here, and right there it is, Forge 1.21.4. We can drag that to our desktop. Now what we want to do is right-click on this file, click on Open With, click Java, and the Forge installer will open. Unless it doesn't. And if it doesn't, it's because you need to get Java. Not Minecraft Java, but Java the program. And you can find it linked in the description down below. Specifically, our in-depth guide on getting Java. Right now, you need Java 21. But, as I mentioned with Minecraft versions, this article will update if it changes for the most recent version of Minecraft. You used to need Java 8, by the way. That's how much it's updated over time. Now you need Java 21. So if it's a different version here, that's A-OK. -okay. Go ahead and get that version because that's what you need for the most recent version of Minecraft. You may also need to run the jar fix. What this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. But first, get Java, then run the jar fix. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and open up Forge. Again, that's right-click, open with Java, and it will open up the installer. All you got to do in here is click Install Client and click OK. The reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft and the Minecraft Launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed before installing Forge. You're also going to have needed to play the version of Minecraft you're installing Forge for. For example, if you're installing Forge for Minecraft 1.22.3, you want to go ahead and make sure you played that version of Minecraft before installing Forge. Otherwise, it's not going to work. We can go ahead and click OK here, and it will close out of Forge, and we can delete Forge from our desktop because we don't need it anymore. Now, we can open up the Minecraft Launcher and play Minecraft using our Forge installation. If you want to play Minecraft with your Forge mods, or just Forge in general, for whatever reason, you need to play with the Forge installation. If we go to installations here, make sure modded is checked, because if it's not, Forge won't be there. But if you check modded, there it is. There's Forge. You go ahead and click play and click play again. But what if you don't have Forge? Or, under this we can see it's for the version we installed. 1.21.4 in our case, it could be 1.22 in your case, but whatever version of Forge you installed here should be there. If it's not, what do you do? Click new installation. We're going to go ahead and name this simplegamehosting.com, because that's the easiest way to play modded Minecraft with your friends. But then we want to click this versions drop 
drop down. In here, search for Forge, and there it is. There's the version of Forge we installed. If you didn't have the correct version of Forge back on the installations tab, go ahead and select the correct version here. I'm going to set the resolution so we can see better in game, and then click install. If launch after install is selected, it will open Minecraft when you click install. Mine's not, so it will install right like so. And after a few seconds, we can go ahead, hover over this simplegamehosting.com forge profile, click play, click play to confirm we're playing modded Minecraft, and now Minecraft will open up with forge installed. However, and you can tell, by the way, it's installed, it's right there in the loading menu, forge is active. However, what if you wanted to add mods to this? Well, in the description down below, we have a link to two places, CurseForge and Moderinth. Both of these are super popular places to download Minecraft mods from, and you can actually filter. So you can come to the left-hand side here, and we can see that Forge is here, and we can filter game version. You must download mods that are for the Forge mod loader and for the game version of Forge that you installed. So in our case, it's 1.21.4, it might be 1.22 or 1.23 for you, but whatever version it is, go ahead and select that. And it's worth noting, NeoForge, None of those mods will work with Forge. Same thing the other way. Forge mods will not work with NeoForge. They are completely separate. So because of that, make sure Forge is selected here. If it's for NeoForge, it won't work. That's a completely different guide. Just Google it and you'll see us pop up and we will help you get NeoForge if you'd rather have that. But this is for Forge, so we want to make sure that's selected. And we can see all the mods here that are on Forge. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at Waystones here because this is a very popular mod. If we go to Files, we can download it. We can sort by 1.21.4 Forge right here's the version we want but if we were just to install this after it downloads it actually would not work and that's because it needs another mod let me show you how to find the other mod that this needs to do that you would do the same thing search and filter and then we want to go ahead and click on it and then we can go to related projects and we can see bomb here is a required dependency that means you need this mod in order for things to work go ahead and filter for that and forge boom this is the version we need Click the three dots and click download, and again, it will begin downloading. You can do the exact same thing on Modrinth. After we save Bomb, we can jump over there and I'll show you. We can filter by game version and the mod loader. In our case, we would want Forge. And again, NeoForge mods won't work. You have to get it for the Forge mod loader. As far as finding any compatibility mods, well, we can come in here, for example. And is Waystones on here? Because if it is, we'll just use that again. Waystones, there it is. And we can go to versions here, and we want to select a version. For example, we want the Forge 1.21.4 version and there is dependencies. So just click on it in this list here and it will appear under dependencies and you can click on it to go download it, all of that stuff. So with that being said, that is how you can get your mods downloaded. How do you install them though? Well, it's really easy. With Minecraft open and your mods in your downloads folder, I'm gonna go ahead and move them to the desktop for this tutorial just because that's a lot easier. We can go ahead and go to the mods button on the main menu. This is with Forge open, right? So this is Minecraft running with Forge. Click on mods and click on open mods folder. Then just drag and drop any mods you want to install into this mods folder and they're now working, except they're not gonna be in game because we need to restart Minecraft in order for them to work. As I mentioned, we have to be playing Minecraft with the Forge installation, either the one that's separate default or the one that you created, for any of your mods to work. And now when Minecraft opens, those mods will be active. But what if you tried to open Minecraft and it didn't work? You ran into issues? Well, that's why this guide here exists. How to fix broken Minecraft mods goes through a ton of different troubleshooting errors and issues you could have when trying to run Minecraft mods. This has over 320,000 views, helping people for years fix broken Minecraft mod issues. So go check this out, get things up and running if you have any issues very very commonly this will fix it but with that being said minecraft's now open we can go to mods and we can see waystones is there but of course we can also jump in game we'll create a new world just because um, new mods can sometimes need a new world it's always advised to never remove a mod and go back into a world when you do that it can and it will often break things so keep that in mind but once we're in game here and we're in creative to make this easy we can go ahead and hit e to open up our inventory and there it is there are all of the different waystones we can take and place these down visible up on activation we'll go ahead and name it all of that stuff and uh, yeah we could select for example we could run over here place another one down and save it and i believe now easily yes teleport between the two so there you have it that's how you can add mods to minecraft using the forge mod loader if you've got any questions let us know in the comment section down below we'll see you in the next video and i'm out peace